I bought more iPods, and they're in this box right here. The last time I bought iPods on eBay, I got sent the wrong ones, and they were worth more money than what I paid for. That was probably a fluke and probably won't happen again. I only mention it because, well, that was profit, and this probably will just be what I expected. So let's unbox the box. No, you don't get to see where I live. Send stuff to my P.O. box, not my address. Okay. And it is what I ordered. We got our nicely wrapped up, oh yeah, and an iPhone. He threw this in because it's iCloud locked and why not? I, I guess that's just a thing. But these are the iPods. $50 plus free shipping for these iPods, but these things, the thick boys, they actually cost money on eBay because people think they're vintage. Man, this one really is thick. Jeez, guys, it is a third generation. Wild. Now to test the untested iPods. I sure hope he just didn't sell them as untested and just say that they, they don't work. This first one isn't doing anything yet. Now the next iPod. The big boy. Apple logo already. Hey, maybe something will happen. Oh, it's already on. Man, that screen is dim. And the click wheel doesn't do anything. Hello? Well, let's leave this one aside. What about this one? It's already turning on. Oh, yep, it's on. And it has songs. Does it die instantly? Yes. Uh, set you aside. What about this one? This is a first generation Nano. California cutie. What does it say? Oh, Apple logo. Very dim. Oh, no, it, br it brought it up. Yeah, baby, it's fine. It also has music. Someone liked classic rock. Unplug. It didn't die instantly. That's actually impressive because I didn't have it plugged in for all that long at all. So this one might actually have a decent battery in it if I let it plug in for a bit. Let's just set it over here. What about our mint flavored iPod? Already an Apple logo as well. Nice. This is a third generation Nano. It's also an 8 gigabyte model. It's a lot shinier than the other one. So uh, let's see. Ooh, it's already on as well. Wow. And music. We got music. Hold switches on. Would you just do that? And does it die? It's, uh, yeah. Okay, it does. Okay, let's try the, the big one again. These ones we all know sort of kind of work. The big one... Uh, I think it has a dead backlight. And the other one hasn't done anything yet. I can guarantee, though, that no one has opened this iPod before, so if it's dead, it's dead on its own terms. The click wheel on this one is dumb, and it's also only kind of scratched. Like, what has this thing been through? This thing, I gotta get inside of it. And for the record, I didn't do that. I think somebody's opened this before. Oh, I injured myself. I think I did it with the plastic. If I'm being honest, I think the filth that this thing has in it is making it stick together. There should be a ribbon cable here somewhere. There we go. Now we plug it in because it's taken apart, and that means it'll be good. This part of the iPod is getting very hot. I don't know what to do with this thing. Doesn't seem to work. That probably didn't help. Take the screws out. Oh, that right there's a plastic part of the case that just kind of flew out as I unscrewed it. It's not supposed to happen. Yeah, it cleanly broke off. I'm using a lid of one of my small circular containers to keep track of the screws. I'll put a link to these in the description. And hopefully... Oh, wow. Um, it happened again. You go in there with your friend. Maybe this iPod is garbage. Oh, another one broke off. Oh my gosh. Well, that's not great. Four out of the six screws for this iPod do absolutely nothing. I think its face comes off now. And it just comes out. Well, is that corrosion? Well, let's hope a little subscribe to my channel juice will fix it. Dirty iPod. Maybe it's doing something. Or maybe I'm just wasting my time. All right. So we're going to need a rubber band to secure that in place. So now after unplugging everything and plugging it back in, let's see if it does anything. There must be a short or something. It's getting hot. I'm just going to call it the stupid pod. I'm not going to put it back together again. I'm not going to do it that honor. It's going to live like this forever. Oh yeah, and here's your stupid button back. It's been a day. This one's still dead. This one actually seems to be holding its battery just fine. The mint flavored one, not so much. See, it's dead, but this one's fine. This whole video, I've been trying to get this thing to charge through USB. That's when the 30 pin cable has a USB on the end instead of Firewire, which is what this thing needs to charge. For some reason, I think I googled it and somehow managed to come to the conclusion that it would charge through USB when it clearly says in the internet that it does not. But the charging problems are now solved thanks to Elite Obsolete. When I told him about my dilemma, my problem with this iPod, he said, oh yeah, I'll just send you one of those, yeah. This is just what I need. A fire, oh no, that's in there. A fire wire to 30 pin cable. Because that's what this third generation iPod charges with. It has to be fire wire. This video was in limbo for almost two months. I unboxed these on October 9th. It is now December 4th. Being too poor to buy a FireWire charger myself, become a channel member today, I just didn't know what to do. So it's not dead. At least I don't know for sure yet. I'm hoping that it isn't dead. That other iPod 
had a bad logic board and is dead, but will this one be? I spoke to Elite Obsolete and he said that the 40 gig variant of this is a little bit more rare considering it's the highest capacity and they made them for less time, I think. He also exclaimed on how shiny this is. It still has, you know, the classic scratches, but it is significantly shinier than a lot of them are. And this one is as old as I am from 2003. I am 20 now and so is this iPod. Let's see what we got. At the beginning of this video I wasn't 20. Now I am. Let's plug this into the wall shall we? By the way this is quite shiny. It's from 2004. Nice condition charger as well. All right boys the moment of truth. Will the iPod do anything? Oh I hear a hard drive spinning up. Yeah these things have hard drives. I can hear it spinning up. I can feel it. It's making a buzzing sound. All it's doing is the hard drive. I don't know how long these things take to boot. Oh must be a dead screen. You hear that? Wait. Backlight. Oh, look at that. So does this thing have a dud screen? We have a not completely dead, but not fully working iPod third generation. Well, well, well. What do you know? It's an iPod after all. I know. We can do the unplug test. Turn the backlight on. Will it turn off instantly? Oh, wow. An iPod as old as I am that's been plugged in for like a minute still has a charge in it. That is impressive. It's a 20 year old. Oh, there it went. That's still pretty impressive. Thanks again for the cable, Mr. Elite Obsolete. I'll be using this in every iPod video now. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, and this week the members get an extra video. It's this. There's more iPod parts in there, but not telling you what they are. You have to become a member to find out. Thank you so much for my supporters. See you guys next week for another video.